My name's Matt. Uh, my partner for this project is Michael Norton. At the beginning of this year, when we were trying to figure out a capstone project, we thought, look, we've made a good team in the past, so let's look together. And we came across a project which involved 3D printing prosthetic limbs. And then from there on, we've just started uh, working on new designs and ways to improve the functionality of those prosthetics. Uh, so we're both mechanical engineers, so uh, we really like the idea of these mechanically actuated uh, prosthetics and we're both very keen on the 3D printing technology. So to combine that with um, a humanitarian aspect was something we, we were really keen on doing. So we jumped on the project as soon as we saw it. I think our project is unique in that it is very easy to put these prosthetics together. Uh, there's no extra parts and bits and pieces that need to be sourced. It's cheap, it's robust, uh, it's potentially accessible to everyone. So it's mostly targeted at children and young adults who are still growing. Uh, in most cases, it's, it's a bit difficult to be buying and sizing expensive uh, prosthetics, myoelectric prosthetics and things like that because uh, children usually grow out of them within six to 12 months. So the prospect of spending all that money on a new one is, is quite daunting for a lot of families um, and especially in poverty stricken countries with very high uh, amputee rates. Bringing the 3D printing technology to them is something that could be incredibly beneficial because it's cheap and it's easy to service uh, and it's just so accessible. We're working on sizing up a few prosthetics to be fitted to uh, some candidates that we've contacted through a charity. Um, once we've got their sizing correct, we can print prosthetics for them and bring them in for a fitting day and just see how they go with the prosthetics, get some valuable feedback off them, whether our improvement's been worthwhile or if we need to go down a different avenue. For Road to Endeavour, we thought it was a really good chance to get the word of our project out there because it's all based on networking and social media. We really want to promote the technology and the work being done. Currently, the model at this point, um, as you can see, it's a fairly lifelike hand, fully mechanically actuated, working on a way to, to lock that mechanism just so that um, individuals using them can keep a clenched fist without constantly flexing their wrist. So that's one way to reduce uh, forearm muscle fatigue. Again, this funny little doodad here uh, is sort of four-way lock design uh, with this groove in here to hold various tools. Uh, we've tried it with a saucepan and um, a skipping rope handle, holds onto them just fine uh, because most of the feedback that we've had from people using prosthetics is that in kids they're much more interested in um, being able to do all the same activities as, as a, the other kids during recess and lunchtime. So they just want to be able to live a full life and, and do all the activities everyone else can do. So that's, that's a big focus for us.